I'm going to wait a couple minutes and see if anybody comes in, give you guys a chance. So we'll just wait a couple minutes. Let me make sure I'm going live. Oh, there I am. Okay. Alrighty. Looks like it's working. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start. This was last minute, so um, I understand everyone's super busy, especially with Super Bowl happening like super duper soon. Um, so my name is Vicki Kinner, and I am a superstar consultant. And um, I met Jackie because I was stalking her on YouTube because I love her. Um, basically, she has been my mentor even before I met her. I love her. Um, so she asked me to come on and talk about personal branding and how I branded myself and how I use my branding. So I'll go ahead and um, I think the first thing we're going to talk about is what is branding. I know a lot of you have heard the term and a lot of you already know, but for those that don't it's basically your brand like coca-cola has the red and white with the um the bear and the coca-cola you know in cursive that is their brand but what is your brand what do people think about when they think about you and your brand and um so for me i'm very i'm really into retro um i don't know if you could tell other side um I, I basically live a very vintage lifestyle. I love vintage. That is like my jam. Um, so my personal brand revolves around, um, around vintage. That's pretty much what I like. I love anything retro. I have a retro trailer. Um, so in all of my pictures that I post, it always, always, always has a uh, vintage flair to it. So, um, and I'll show you an example of that in just a second. Um, I also love thrifting, which goes hand in hand with vintage. So I, I post a lot of um, uh, cute quotes about thrifting and stuff like that. I love coffee, so coffee's kind of my brand as well. Unicorns and bright colors and pink. I love pink love my hair is pink it's hard to tell and look I, I have to get my roots done but you can tell I do have pink hair I love pink so that is my brand so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you a little bit of my Instagram page and just kind of show you an example of how how I do it you'll see that there's a lot of pink and there's a lot of like vintagey type of pictures See, and um, I threw in, you know, the warmers, but this is like a collection of my favorite vintage stuff that I have. And I was able to incorporate my warmers um, in this one. Hold on. There we go. Sorry, I, I've been painting, so my hands are full of paint. So in this one, you can see I have a vintage um, uh, tablecloth. Uh, everything's very, very vintage -y. And I mix it with Scentsy, and that's my brand. And you'll notice there's a lot of pink, a lot of pink, a lot of coffee stuff. Um, I'm also on a weight loss journey, so um, I post a lot about that. Like I posted a snacksident. It's a noun, eating an entire box of popsicles by mistake. That's a snacksident. Um, so that's basically my brand. I like fun, upbeat, bright colors. and um, so that is how I, hi, thank you for joining me. Um, so that's how I brand myself. And the reason I brand myself 
and why you should brand yourself is so that you stand out. Um, everybody starts posting those beautiful pictures from Sensi, and yes, they're gorgeous, but if people are scrolling um, social media, they're gonna see tons of the same picture over and over and over again. Yes, it's a beautiful picture. Hold on, my cats are playing with my Scentsy paper. Hey, Pippi! I have one cat that is just too much, let me tell you. I just got three big boxes and she is going off on that paper. Anyway, so, you know, you wanna stand out. You don't want people to scroll right past your stuff, right? We're in the business of marketing and selling and building a team and if people are scrolling past you you can't do any of that right so the reason you brand yourself is so that you stand out so now how do we do that if you know some people get in a slump and I've actually helped people brand themselves um, just because sometimes people's brains don't work that way I'm a very creative person and some people are more like good at math I'm not good at math but um but basically, if you are struggling to brand yourself, get out a piece of paper, um, make a list of your favorite colors. Don't just pick one, because you don't want to put yourself in a box. Um, pick a couple colors that you like, like your favorite colors that when people think of you, they think, oh, oh my gosh, she loves that color. She wears yellow all the time, or she's always wearing black and teal, or whatever, you know? Um, or if you have colored hair, um, you know, maybe that's something that you like. But a, col a color that um, sparks joy, thanks Marie Kondo, um, for you. So it's something that has to be related to you. Um, then start thinking of things that are your hobbies, things that you love. So make a list of those things. Maybe you, you like um, skate, uh, skating or maybe you like um, you know walking your dog and you have a pug or you know whatever like if you're into uh, being like into a planner planners then that's maybe something you you can think about then start thinking about what people think about when they think about you like let's take Jackie for instance first of all I think fabulous then I think she's a mom because we all know little miss right so you immediately know Little Miss. Little Miss is part of Jackie's branding. Um, we think about her nails. She always has fabulous nails. Um, we think about her uh, her mentoring and teaching and her po new podcast. And we think about her going to Target at the dollar spot. These are all things we think about. We think about how she um, loves her family. She's got this beautiful family. So those are the ways that she brands herself. If you look at her YouTube page, that's exactly what you see. And you feel like you know her. So if I see a picture of Little Miss, I know whose kid that is. I know that that's Jackie. If I see a picture with like gorgeous nails, you know, I know that's Jackie. Like when when I see her and her daughter going to Target, like I, I feel like I know them, like they're my best friends that live like two blocks down, right? And that's how you want people to be able to look at something and say, oh, that's so-and-so. Like if they're looking at pictures and they have no idea who that is, then chances are you may be copying somebody because you're lost. So, which can happen. Um, the main thing is you got to think about what people think of you, what makes people think of you and the things that you like. It doesn't have to be what's popular to other people. Like the farmhouse chic thing, it's gorgeous, okay? I don't do farmhouse chic. Like, my house is all pink and bright colors. And so, like, if I was to post farmhouse chic stuff, it wouldn't make sense. Nobody would understand my branding. They'd be like, who is this? I don't get her. Because one picture she's posting retro, the next one she's posting farmhouse chic, I don't get it. What What is her deal? So, like, it has to be pretty cohesive. So, even if I'm posting about my weight loss journey, you still see my vintage side come out and, and all of that. Um, so that's the main reason why it's so important to brand yourself. Um, I get people um, 
sending me links all the time, friends of mine. Oh, this um, vintage trailer made me think of you. Or, oh, this, um, this picture of cats made me think of you. Because they know that that's what I like. And they know that, that I like that because that's what I post. That's how I brand myself. So, like, I'm a big cat person, okay? So, I found this really cute picture and it's okay to borrow someone's picture as long as you tag them and I always put it in um, I tag them on the picture and I put it in the description as well but it says attack the week in the same way a cat inexplicably I can't say that word uh, and mercilessly attacks you after enticing you to stroke its tummy so hold on let's see so that's super cute right and I love anything bright this is like a bright lavender I know it's hard to see um, I love cartoony stuff, and um, but yeah, I love cats. So it matches me, even though it's not authentic, like as far as I didn't create this. As long as I tag them, they're they're pretty happy with you using their stuff, and I use my own description. But they know that that's me. It describes me, even though um, it's not mine. Um, let's see. Let me look what else. Everyone knows I'm a mom, and my daughters are my best friends, and so I post stuff like this, again, vintage -y. but um, that's my brand. Lots of pink. Anyway, so that's the thing. If you're struggling, just make lists of what people think of you, what makes people think of you, what are the things that you like, what are the colors that you like, and chances are your brand will come up, you know, if it's something like if you're into like horses, maybe everything can have like a little bit, not overdone, but maybe a little bit of like a cowboy theme, like a cute cowgirl theme, like a country type theme. Um, if you're into planning, you can make things look like planner stuff or you can um, post cute uh, quotes about being a planner addict. And um, so that's basically how you come up with your branding and why you do it. But um, if you have any questions, please uh, drop them in the comments and I'll go back and read them and I'll get with you. And if you're struggling, let me know and I will totally um, help you. I have no problem helping you go through the things that you like and things that maybe work for you. Are you into the 80s stuff? Like there's lots of things you can do. So, um, yeah, I hope this helped, and thank you so much for inviting me, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful Super Bowl Sunday, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.